Hey everyone, this video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial for a simple and free method to exclude any audio software such as TeamSpeak or Discord from your live stream. So if you still want to be able to hear your friends in TeamSpeak, but you don't want that audio cluttering your stream, or if you're like me and you have friends who like to say things that can get you banned, this method will allow you to separate that audio. The steps for this method, along with timestamps, will be posted in the video description if you just want a quick list. But basically, what we're going to be doing is using a virtual audio cable to make all the sound from our computer, including games, music, or whatever else, go into the live stream software. And then we will manually set TeamSpeak to play only into our headphones and not into the stream. It's actually pretty simple to do this. Just go to Google and type in VB audio cable. This is gonna be a free software that you're gonna use. It's a real quick download. You just wanna look for the virtual audio cable. Download and install that. You don't need to run this as a program. Once you install it, it goes straight into your sound settings like another set of speakers that you just plugged in. So just go to your sound and you should be able to find it right there. Uh, the default one that comes free with the program is right here. It's just called VB Virtual Cable. Um, in this case, I'm using cable A for my stream. So just find the virtual cable and click Set Default. This is going to make it so that all of the audio from your computer goes into the virtual cable. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we can still hear the audio from the computer. So we're going to go to Recording. Right click on the same cable that we used before go to properties go to listen we're gonna check listen to this device and then we're going to play the device through whatever our physical speakers or headphones are so again this is so that you can hear the audio so whatever your physical speakers or headphones that you're using to to listen to your game or listen to your computer this is the device that you want to play back the audio through now that that's set, we're going to go to TeamSpeak and make sure that the audio from TeamSpeak is separate from all that. So go into Options, find your audio or playback settings, and go to Device, and set the playback device directly to your headphones. So this makes it so that when I'm in TeamSpeak, when people are talking, it gets played into my headphones and not into that virtual cable. Again, we're separating it from the virtual cable because the cable is what we're going to use for our live stream. So we don't want this to be picked up on the live stream. We're going to play it through our headphones directly. Uh, same thing if you're using any other software such as Discord or Mumble. It doesn't have to be TeamSpeak. Just find your settings, go into your audio, and make sure your output device or your playback device is set directly into your headphones. So the last thing we need to do is set up the stream itself. So just find OBS or XSplit or whatever you're using. Go into your settings, find audio, and set your audio device as that virtual cable so again we've already made it so that our computer audio is being played into this virtual cable we've made it so that we can listen to the audio through our headphones and we've made it so that TeamSpeak goes directly into our headphones and not into this cable so by setting up the streaming software here to use the virtual audio cable. This is now gonna pick up everything on your computer except for TeamSpeak, which goes straight into the headphones. It's really, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button. That'll help people discover this video in searches. When I was researching this, I spent way too much time watching and reading overly complicated guides for what should have only been about two or three minutes of work, so hopefully this video can save you from some of that headache. Thanks for watching, have fun.